Well, the season moves quickly as the Badgers have wrapped up the home portion of their schedule with a Thursday night game against the Iowa Hawkeyes. And now the regular season will conclude on Sunday afternoon in Columbus as the Badgers play Ohio State for the first time in a year and three months. It's been that long since these programs have faced off on the basketball floor. We'll take a look at some of the highlights from Thursday's game. We'll also continue our look up close at that senior class of Ethan Happ, Khalil Iverson, and of course last week we heard from Charlie Thomas, and we'll hear about all three in our weekly sit down with head coach Greg Gard. All coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Open man Davison at the top with eight to shoot. Reavers baseline left, gets it out of there to Iverson left corner with three to shoot. Khalil off the wing to the rim, and he punches it down with the right hand. Oh, Khalil Iverson strong to the cup for the first points of the night. Bounce pass to Aline Ford, right corner, gets it to Happ, right wing. Happ puts it on the deck in the paint, kicks to King, feeds Pritzel, good look at the three, left side, back rim no good. Ford the rebound, low on the right with the putback. Aline Ford with the follow. A toss to Davison, sending the King high on the right. 11.50 left in the half, 11.8 Iowa, Ford open for three, left corner, good. Aline Ford with five quick ones off the bench, tied at 11. And we'll leave it for Nate Reavers, back to Trice, 10 on the shot clock, surveying the Iowa zone D. Shot clock at six, here's Ford, long three, left side, off the right side, iron no good, but Reavers is there for the rebound and the putback. Rice glides off to the left side, takes the top of the circle, turns it back to Reavers, drives off the left wing, Nate to the lane, up with the right hand, short, got his own rebound, one pump, tries again, yes, it counts, and a foul. And one for Nate Reavers. Khalil against McCaffrey, Iverson backing, backing, gives to Hap at the top. Ethan to the left elbow, now into the lane, Hap up and under, low on the left, no good, rebound, yes, and a foul. Khalil Iverson working inside. Badgers against the 1-2-2, get it across the line, Davison, he's trapped, gets it out of there to Hap, Ethan to the line, feeds Iverson to the rim, slam dunk. Another flush for Khalil Iverson, 28-19, Wisconsin. Rice glides off to the right side, seven on the shot clock, now Pritzel for three, good. Revin Pritzel on the catch and release, seven seconds left in the half. Here's Hap off the right wing in the lane, feeds Reavers left corner, a shot pick, takes it off the wing to the rim, slam dunk. Nate Reavers with two hands sends it down. Trice rocks the dribble out front. Now Garza gets him on a switch, a throw to half. He goes against Jordan Bohannon, Ethan moving in. Backing in on Bohannon, goes up right hand. That's easy money. That's a switch half will take all day. Not quite four minutes into the second half. Iowa putting on the backcourt pressure. Little one, two, two again. Three quarters look. Trice races through the center circle, finds Iverson, goes into half, low on the right, up left hand, back rim and in. Oh, half getting in rhythm inside. It's now 40 to 26, Wisconsin. Davison throwing to Aleem Ford. Back out to Davison with a shot clock at five. Brad it and finds a cutting. Pritzel slam dunk. Pritzel with the flush. He'll feed Iverson a throw to Aleem Ford along the left sideline. Ford looking, gives it back to Trice with a shot clock at 10. Game clock 9.03. Trice deep three, left of the circle, money. First hit from distance for Trice, 53 to 30, Wisconsin. Flips to Trice, shot clock at 10. Trice now against Tyler Cook on a switch, shot clock at five. Demetric right of the lane, darts a pass to Davison, open three left, corner is good! Just before the shot clock expired. The pass stolen away by Macy Daly. Bailey slaloms to the front court, spin move, low on the left, goes up, knocked away Thomas, and it comes down to Ballard with a minute 17 to play. This is Wisconsin basketball. Stolen by Ethan Happ. Happ to the rim, and he hammers it down with the right hand. He'll drive to the goal and hammers it down. It's running into Davison, who takes the charge again. The Trice, who splashes a triple. Out the fourth, the three, left of the circle, tie game. The Badger Sports Report with Greg Gard is presented by High V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. High V proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers. And UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org.
It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. This is where amazing happens, where ideas turn into realities. This is where they developed a better way to observe blood flow, a better way to visualize pediatric heart surgeries before they even happen. You see, at UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital, they're not just changing the lives of their patients, they're changing the way the world treats complex pediatric conditions. UW Health, remarkable. Hy-Vee's Choice Reserve and Prime Reserve Beef, arguably the best beef in America. Their quality and flavor are undisputable, undeniable. Let's get ready to be unstoppable! Hi, this is Coach Greg Gard, inviting you to join the Badger Basketball Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you will have the opportunity to participate in a variety of great events, including pregame chalk talks, golf outings, and an away game bus trip. The Boosters play a vital role in assisting our staff and student athletes through fundraising and sponsorship. For additional information on joining the club, please call 608-265-6161. There is no better way to show your support than to join the Badger Basketball Boosters. I think we've come a long way um, in a lot of areas defensively, but one of the biggest ones is not fouling. Um, you know, keeping our hands out and and not putting them to the line as much. I think that's that's definitely a big part of it. Um, taking steps in that that area, but this is definitely one you know one of the best defensive performances of the of the year. Just staying ready uh, any given night could be a different person. So just Miko and Brad always talk to each other about staying ready and just when we get in there to be aggressive because uh, it could be a different guy to give a spark any night. I thought our guys did a great job, you know, taking away transition, taking away the post, making it hard to get threes off, um, and then for the most part did a good job offensively at taking advantage of opportunities. Um, obviously on a, on a senior night, you want to go out on a great note. I think this group, those three guys, have done a really good job of helping this program grow and transition and uh, obviously play well last night at home, so that's always a good thing. It is mentally draining, but it's also good that we are in those close games a lot because that, you know that's what it's going to come down to here at the end of the season. Um, being battle-tested and being able to put a full 40 minutes together is something that's going to be key. Um, you know, When we get down in the tournament or whatever it may be, we, we know that we've been here before. You know, we got to claw our way back. Um, but it is nice to have one, some of these once in a while. No, I'm not a very emotional guy, but you know, I'm going to miss these guys. Ethan and Charlie. Charlie's been my roommate for like since we uh, first got on campus, and then me and Ethan have gotten close. He's been my roommate for like road trips and things like that. And, I mean, when we, you know, we played a game together, and I whoop him all the time. And in what? What do you mean in what? Ping pong is me. Two K. No, is no. Me. Let's not get carried away. One on one is me. <laughs> he's he's having an out of body experience right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, miss both of those guys. I saw that Mike was subbing in, and I was hoping he was doing it uh, for Charlie and not me, just because I didn't want to leave. Um, you know, I've definitely experienced the full five years here, um, but it was tough to come off the court that last time. And, um, I was trying to hide back there on the corner just so they couldn't, couldn't come get me. But um, it w I was emotional. It, you know, it kind of hurt to do that. But, um, you know, all good things come to an end. Progress is an endless challenge. Here at the University of Wisconsin, we're a community of innovators in constant motion. We think on our feet, connect with each other, and hit our stride, pushing past limits. Progress is an endless challenge, but it is only those up to the challenge who change the game.
Well, the schedule wrapping up with the Thursday game against the Iowa Hawkeyes. Now the Big Ten regular season will conclude Sunday afternoon at 3.30 tip-off Central Time. The Badgers taking on Ohio State down in Columbus. Touch on the Buckeyes here in a few minutes. But uh, this is the week at every year you have it uh, where you get asked a lot about the seniors playing their, their final home game. And it, it's really cool to be able to say once again that it's the last home game, but by far not their last game with the Big Ten tournament coming up and then hopefully many games beyond that. And yet, as much as it's go, 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 I would hope those guys and maybe even you as a staff, yourself and your assistants can kind of step back and Charlie and Khalil and Ethan think, yeah, it's, that's a pretty good run that they've had here in the home floor. In their yeah, time. absolutely. And we've, we've talked about that and I've tried to make sure without making too big a deal about that, making sure they, uh, they understand and embrace and appreciate that. And I know they do, and I think I probably bring it up more as a reminder for the younger guys that this doesn't last forever. Those freshmen sit in our film room in the front row and think, man, it's <laughs> going to go on, on and on and on. And then I say, well, turn and look at those guys in the back. They thought their career was going to last forever, mm -hmm. too. So there's a, there's a double edge or double message behind that, too, whenever I bring that up about the, the last whatever it is, the last first day of practice, last hill day last uh, home game, whatever it may be. And I know our three seniors really appreciate the time. And they've seen a wide gamut of experiences, you they know, have. from Sweet 16s to having a uh, rebuilding year, so to speak, that they had to go through a lot of adversity. And then for them to bounce back this year and, and have uh, a really good senior year, I think really uh, helps. They've helped in a transition, so to speak, in, in lack of a better word. And uh, really proud of what they've done. They've all graduated or are going to graduate here this year. And uh, Ethan's in grad school, so he's working on the next degree. <laughs> um, but uh, really excited and, and proud of what they've done. I think they've all, all three have talked about it. They know the clock is ticking. But I think Ethan, even after the NBA evaluation um, last off season, I know he was peppered with questions locally about coming back for his senior year. And I, it seemed like he wanted to make a point of taking it all in, like he understood it back at the beginning of the season. It's not like it's hitting them between the eyes now, although maybe in a, in a sense it is. But it was one of those, hey, let's, let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy being a college student and right. a college student athlete the final year. Yeah, and I think in Ethan's case, he got a chance to sit side by side or kind of be under Frank's wing, Kaminsky's mm -hmm. wing, and, and watch how he embraced it and how he enjoyed it. And uh, I think sometimes also his, him going and having that NBA experience and the people he talked to he, and, and what he found out what life would be like, not that life is bad there, but just <laughs> when it's, uh, when you're having a fight for your job all the time and you're, you're relying on that, you, I found that our older guys, when they come back, the graduated guys and guys who move on, when they come back, they realize, man, we didn't have it too bad here. <laughs> it's pretty good. And they really send that message to our younger guys a lot. And I think that was a chance for Easton to reflect on the, the, his experience as a redshirt, as a freshman, when he redshirted and what, watching that group go through it and then him to go through his journey and you know what I got one more time to go do this again and I'm really gonna the understanding of it I think helps you appreciate it more. You mentioned Frank a couple of minutes ago no he was back recently he's going through going through a tough season right now right. I mean obviously the pay is good and all that but you want to play more but he came back visited recently and you know that, that smile we saw last February too right like eh, yeah this was this was yeah it bad. was pretty good they realize <laughs> they don't maybe realize that at the time when they're going through they think life can be hard but uh, they find out and they get in the real world, so to speak, that uh, it wasn't too bad here in Madison. No, not bad at all. Well, Ethan, obviously, you, we'll go down, you know, statistically, he's top three in a number of categories, but each has contributed a lot. Right. Um, you know, statistically, it might, you know, someone's going to have better numbers than the other, others, but, you know, Khalil, the way he has come on late in the season, and you've mentioned it without even being asked, either on a post-game show with us or mentioning it in the, uh, in, in the media room. Charlie Thomas, you know, it, it may not be 20 minutes a game. It might be two, but he's helping this club, it seems like, especially here in these last couple of months, every time he gets out on the floor. Right, yeah, his appearances and his contributions have been very timely. And it's a lot of times that's all it takes. You know, for example, the Penn State game came in for two and a half, three minutes, changed the physicality meter, so to speak, of that game and helped us kind of control the rebounding aspect of it and become more physical in the paint. And there's been other instances of, of him or... Khalil obviously having an impact and I think the one thing I appreciate about those those two obviously Ethan's got a lot of ink and a lot of spotlight on him over his career and deservedly so but those two guys Khalil and Charlie had gone through a transition so to speak mm -hmm. of obviously a coaching change and going through some ups and downs of 
two good years, then a, then a rougher year last year, and then back on track this year. So, um, you know, I really, like I said before, I really appreciate those guys staying the course because it wasn't always easy, and they've, I think that will serve them. The lessons they've learned and the experiences they've had will serve them well going forward because they, they understand if they stick to it and, and keep grinding away that good things can happen for well, them. You've seen it through the years in your time here that seniors, they save the best for last a lot of times. It's probably a right. better way to put it, but they play their best basketball when they know that those times are, are now right. limited here, right? Yeah, and, and I think that's a great example yeah. for those guys, how mm -hmm. Khalil's played here lately. Whether it's the experience kicking in and knowing that you're, the, what's at stake in every game, but also I think knowing that, you know what, my time, my clock is ticking. <laughs> There's not a lot of sand, grains of sand left in the hourglass, so to speak, and getting the most out of that, which you want to see. You want to see the seniors go out on a crescendo, so to speak. Well, the Big Ten regular season wraps up on Sunday against Ohio State. It's been 15 months since the two programs have met. 38 Big Ten games. You count the tournament last year, a couple games in there since the Badgers and Buckeyes played. So as tired as everybody is of each other in the league, at least this, and we touched on it last week, but this is about as fresh as it will ever get right, right. in the Big Ten. Yeah, I mean, we would have to completely dive into <laughs> to tape. We have nothing to reference from this year. Uh, and obviously they've changed quite a bit mm -hmm. from last year. Faces have completely changed for the most part. Um, so, yeah, it'll be an interesting to have the very last game of the year, a team that you have not played at all. Um, that'll be that'll be interesting uh, on Sunday afternoon. In a final note, people, will, you'll know what is there to be had, or maybe things are already determined. It probably would be a safe assumption. It doesn't matter. They're going to keep score. The ball's going to be in the air. Go get loose balls. Get mm -hmm. floor burns. Go oh, yeah. play. Right. Yeah, it, it isn't going to matter what's at stake futuristically. Yeah. It's going to be about that 40 minutes and trying to compete as well and as consistently as possible. All right, Badgers and Ohio State down in Columbus on Sunday at 3.30 tip-off Central Time. That will wrap up the Big Ten regular season, the conference tournament obviously coming up later in the week this year down at the United Center in Chicago. Coach Guard's back in a few minutes with a great game, great question of the week. Stick around. hy Choice Reserve and Prime Reserve Beef Arguably the best beef in America. Their quality and flavor are undisputable, undeniable. Let's get ready to be unstoppable! And the winner by unanimous decision, Hyvee! It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> Ever since she can remember, she's wanted to become a doctor, a surgeon to be exact. Maybe it's because she's good at science, or because she loves math, or maybe it's because Lydia was born with a serious craniofacial anomaly, a cleft lip and palate that required a series of complex surgeries, and now she just wants to help others, just like the surgeons at UW Health helped her. UW Health in the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. The Learfield IMG College Directors' Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or L Directors' Cup on Twitter. Learfield IMG College Directors' Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. From an individual standpoint, I consider myself like the, the defensive guy. So I just try to, you know, watch film on the opponents, like better players who I'd be guarding pretty much and just trying to, you know, learn learn their tendencies and try to slow them down for us to win. You know, coming back here when he was a freshman, um, just watching, you know, him go from a kid that was trying to figure it out, you know, he was making the highlight plays back then. Um, but when he became known as our defensive stopper as a junior, 
uh, you saw the evolution of uh, Khalil going from just being a dunker and a highlight reel guy to a guy that's, um, you know, chasing shooters, uh, battling tough wings, and even, you know, uh, wrestling with some post players that are giving us problems. Um, so he's, he's really evolved in a lot of ways and has affected the game in many, in many ways uh, for a positive way. When your time is near at Wisconsin, it's time to look back and reflect. And that's exactly what Iverson did. Like two years or three years ago, me, Charlie, and Nigel, we ordered a bunch of food and we like challenged Charlie to like eat it all pretty much. And it like messed him up, like messed his stomach up. <laughs> so just like those little moments were super funny and, and fun. But learning from former teammates is what helped Iverson become the player and teammate he is today. A little bit of Nigel, a little bit of Shoei, and just seeing them guys, you know, go out and guard the other team's best perimeter perimeter players pretty much. And just learning from them and them giving me tips. Up against Jordan, he can try to back him down. Jordan goes down, no call, inside feed. Iverson, slam dunk. Khalil Iverson with authority. Personally, I know that, you know, if I'm guarding other team's leading scorer, and I slow them down, then the team's probably gonna be struggling to score points and that'll make it easier for us to win. And I'm all about winning. With the ability to attack, you know, I'm sure he would have liked to have become a better shooter during his time here, but you know, uh, he's always had the ability to affect the game in different ways, whether it was offensive rebounding, defensive rebounding, um, you know, making hustle plays, making unbelievable passes to find teammates that are open, um, and just being a good teammate, you know. I mean, that's that's something, that's an intangible that you can't forget about when you have a kid like him that's selfless. Uh, and I put Chuck in that category as well, all three of them. You know, it's selfless guys that, you know, are willing to give whatever it takes for the team to be successful. The memories and relationships with his teammates are what Iverson will hold on to forever. Reporting for the Badger Sports Report, I'm Lexi Graytech. They are the ones who found a way to isolate a single prostate cancer cell hidden amongst a billion healthy blood cells. The ones pioneering advanced genomic testing in order to create personalized treatment protocols. They are the ones you want to talk to when the diagnosis is prostate cancer. They are the physicians and healthcare professionals at UW Health and the Carbone Cancer Center. UW Health, remarkable. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available ProPilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college <laughs> athletics. Hi. This is Coach Greg Gard, inviting you to join the Badger Basketball Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you will have the opportunity to participate in a variety of great events, including pregame chalk talks, golf outings, and an away game bus trip. The Boosters play a vital role in assisting our staff and student athletes through fundraising and sponsorship. For additional information on joining the club, please call 608-265-6161. There is no better way to show your support than to join the Badger Basketball Boosters. The Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or L Directors Cup on Twitter. Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. The Badger Sports Report with Greg Gard is presented by UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. Time for this week's Great Dane. Great question of the week, and we check in with Larry down in Lancaster. Wants to know, Coach, uh, NBA folks are 
At least throwing it out there again about getting rid of the one and done. Um, a good thing for the college game, a bad thing, or just Yeah, a I think it's, uh, it's probably up in the air. And, and Larry, thanks for your question, by the way. Um, I think it's been talked about, you know, back more probably when the Rice Commission came out with their findings uh, back in the fall. Uh, I know a lot with the NBA and the Players Association, the collective bargaining agreement, there's a lot of things at play there in terms of where, it, where it's going. I know it's been more of a hot topic here lately, but, uh, you know, if, it, if they are allowed immediate entry right after high school, it's only going to affect a handful to 10, you know, maybe people. So probably in our case, um, you know, maybe there's an impact, maybe there's not. I think we're, it's really too early and there's too many pieces to the puzzle that yet aren't in place to really find out where it's going to go and how it's all going to shake out as we go forward. All right, so all to be determined. Larry, thanks for your question. The great name with the location up in Wausau as well as full in the Madison area, east side of town, downtown, Fitchburg as well as Hilldale. Badgers conclude the regular season Sunday afternoon at Ohio State. And after that, the Big Ten Tournament returns to the United Center in Chicago. And the Badgers look to be right in the thick of what should be a hotly contested conference tournament. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> a boy who likes tractors and trains. A boy whose heart was far too strained. He was sick, you see, with a heart that broke. His heart needed fixing. His family needed hope. Enter our doctors with their newfangled tests. Enter our teams whose care is the best. Healthy and happy, the little boy's back. Playing with tractors and trains on his track. UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. Progress is an endless challenge. Here at the University of Wisconsin, we're a community of innovators in constant motion. We think on our feet, connect with each other, and hit our stride, pushing past limits. Progress is an endless challenge, but it is only those up to the challenge who change the game.